Hello and welcome to the session on partnerships. This is brought to you by Handa Kafanda. There are two kinds of partnerships which are in focus during the exams. One is the simple partnership, as is given in this case, where the only differentiating factor between people is the amount of money that they invest. Let us say three people A, B, and C invest I1, I2, and I3 rupees. Then the profits that they have, or the products that they make, or the losses that they incur, that will be divided in the ratio of I1 is to I2 is to I3. And this is the case of simple partnership. The other case which is very popular is in which they differ not only in the amount of money that they invest, but also in the time period that they have invested the money for. Let's say A invests I1 amount of money for T1 time, B invests I2 amount of money for T2 time and C invests I3 amount of money for T3 time. In that case, the profits or the losses will be divided in the ratio of I1 T1 is to I2 T2 is to I3 T3 and this is known as compound partnership. Another very important idea that I have seen a lot of students make mistakes in is it does not matter how much money you have. What matters is what is your investment. Let me clarify on this with the help of an example. Say, there are four friends A, B, C and D and they decide to have a party. A brings in four bottles of beer, B brings in, brings in three bottles of beer, C brings in three bottles of beer. D, however, did not have the time to buy beer. So he got with him 500 rupees and they decided that they will drink the beer equally and B and D said since he got the money he will distribute the 500 rupees between A, B and C in a fair manner. So just by looking at it common logic would say that the 500 rupees that D is going to distribute should be divided in the ratio of 4 is to 3 is to 3 because A got 4 bottles, B got 3 bottles, C got 3 bottles or 200, 150 and 150 rupees. But is that correct? No, it is not. Why so? Because we also need to analyze A, B and C are also drinking beer. Did they actually invest 4 bottles, 3 bottles and 3 bottles? No, they did not. A had 4 bottles and he drank 2 and a half of it. There are a total of 10 bottles. They are drinking each equally. So each one of them had 2 and a half bottles. That means A had 4 bottles, he drank 2 and a half, he invested 1.5 bottles. B had 3 bottles, he invested 2.5. He consumed 2.5, he invested 0.5 bottles. C had 3 bottles, he consumed 2.5 and he invested 0.5 bottles. That means their investment is in the ratio of 1.5 is to 0.5 is to 0.5 or 3 is to 1 is to 1. Which means a will get the lion's share or A will get 300 rupees out of the 500 and B and C will get 100 rupees each. That wraps up the session on partnerships. Please stay tuned at Handaka Fanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.